Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys how you can install Blue Stack on your Windows 10 devices. I have to mention that you have to first go to this website called bluestack.com and let's just get into it. So this is an emulator. This is really good for students that wants to run Android emulator on their Windows 10 devices. Make sure that you have minimum or four gigabyte of RAM and then go on onward. If you do want to play games on this, you require to have a higher rate of RAM. I know a lot of you will disagree because this will work with even two gigabyte, but I would really suggest you stick on four and go on onward to process a lot of things for you. Now, there are some apps that people that are coming from overseas wants to play with it this will do the job for you accurately too. I do not want to forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click to click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon, select all in order to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We will have to help you out ASAP. And don't forget to click, click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly with a little more detail every time. So this is a beautiful emulator. They went through certain amount of versions in order to get it more stable and better when you're installing it on your Windows PC. Here you go. This is how it's done. First, you need to go to bluestack.com and then you have a huge button that says download Bluestack 5. Now I know that they have different versions too. It just depends how old is your PC in order to get the older version. The newer I will get, the easier and the faster it is for you to play with it. So let's go through and download this one. Now it will give you a little download button in the bottom. As you can see, huge icon shows up. You have to click on it and you have to run it. Yes, you will get a little pop up that you have to give them access and then it will go through to install. And this is how you should see it. Now this part depends how fast is your connection to the internet to get it. You can see mine is going flawless. It was roughly about 398 megabyte. It says it was less than a minute. Now it's just opening it and getting it ready for it to be installed. And there you go. It flashes a few times. I will minimize the screen so that way we can just zoom in to the installation part. Now it's installing it. It says extracting files. Yes, there's a lot of parts that does not need to be installed. It just goes to the folder and just puts all the files inside of it. And once it comes up, we will tell you what we will do next. Most of the explanation has been done on the screen right now. It will tell you what are the changes that they have done from Bluestack 4 to the version 5. And here you go. You can see that there is a lot of apps available that you can play with. But if you're a student and also you cannot afford to purchase an Android box, that should cover you because most of you already have a laptop or a desktop computer that is running Windows on it. If you have a Mac, it's a total different ballgame. We're not going to get there yet. If you have one, message us. We will do as much as possible to help you guys out so you can get an emulator on it. But this is solely created for Windows at the meantime. And there you go. Now it says 99% is done. So we're just waiting for it to become 100. So we can go next. While this is happening, we can make different videos like this. And if you want us to come live and process this type of stuff, it would be better. So let us know. So here you go. It's just got installed. Now it's just setting up and booting into the actual emulator. So once we go to it totally, then we will explain to you what is going to happen next. And here you go. This is the main screen. So let's go through and do some customizations first. Number one, let's just cover that how it really looks. So on the top, you have your icon and then it will tell you exactly what version of Bluestack you're running. So it has a more numbers right after day five. So this is 5.2.110.1003 and it is N32. 
and this is their home and if you have more apps already open then it will give you different tabs just like a browser go on on the right hand side you have some help and support if you ever need it you can click on it and it will give you the help that you need also it has menu so you can see the menus whatever spend you can minimize the screen you can maximize the screen there you go and also you have the close so that way you totally exit out you also have a little button so this way it will hide your menus on a side this is the best part that I always play with so you have the toggle screen and then you also have volume up volume down you have the mouse lock screen and also you have the on the screen keyboard and you also have the micro buttons that you can set up and if you go down it says trim memory so this way anything is running in the background this will stop it then you also have install apks from your computer you can click on it and then it will open up and you can select a apk so it will install inside from your computer you do not have to worry about going into a different platform in order to get it and you have a screenshot you have more folders and also you can make this to be widescreen like this one or you can change it they call it rotation so you can make it to go like a phone to be horizontal or vertical to be a proper wording now going inside of this part you can shake it and also it says the multi manager we're going to leave this alone and also you have the echo mode so this way you can set it up so your quality will be matching your computer so you do not go over your limit for the ram going down you have settings you can click on it and this is where you will be able to set up how many cores you can use and also how much memory you can use and if you want it to be default or high performance or low i'm going to leave it as default and how much frame rate you looking for you can take it down to 30 or you can leave it on 60. i really like it to be on 60 so this way if i have any kind of videos playing inside of it or if i want to play a game it will play it for me properly except that you have enable high frame rate also vsync and fps it's all going to be off for the meantime going under display itself we're going to set it up under 900 we're not going to make it 1080p or 720p this way it's proper screen for the meantime to make this video the pixel density i always leave it on 240 dpi so that way if you have any kind of games it will give you a proper numbers and the frame rate is going to be right and also your screen will not show that much breakage you can make it to go lower if your computer is older or you can make it to go higher if your cpu is a lot better over here is the mouse toggle you can change it to be totally different and then you can save and your mouse toggle changes now mine is not changed yet going to graphics we're going to leave this alone i know what you see is what you get but you can change it if you are geeky into it go ahead and play with it audio part is there too we're going to leave it as default gamepad is something that if you want to have a gamepad or a little game handset that you can play then you can go ahead and connect it so this we can take advantage of it but over here you can turn it on or turn it off and then you have to set it up performance is really good that you have to leave everything on so this way if anything happens you know exactly where to access even your folder part see says that where i have all the media is going to be stored is on my f drive and not on my c drive which is the main drive now this is set up by itself also the drive settings is on one plus five this is how they know exactly how smooth your computer will go and my internet provider is roger so it's already detected shortcuts are all here you can change them if you like advanced settings we're not gonna click anything on so we can make this video and then about all the information that you need about the blue stacks is all here except that we will just exit out and here you go you see that my mouse changed now when i go to the screen did you see that how easy and smooth it is to be changed to different colors so at least you know that your mouse is working inside of the screen or outside of the screen that's why we're going to leave this here except that let's go through and log in 
So exactly how your phone or tablet is, you're going to get a sign in. So click on it and then sign in, which I'm not going to show you. At the meantime, this is my own. You need to create your own or you can have a Gmail account. Go ahead, type your Gmail email address, click next, put your password and you're signed in. You do not need to create any new accounts if you have a Gmail account. Once you go in, it will ask you to agree. We will click agree and it will tell you that you need to back up on Google Drive. We're going to leave this on and click on accept. Now, this is a very, very first time you're logging in. So always remember to check a few things. Number one, you're going to click on this little three icons. That's the first thing you have to do. And then my apps and games. So if there is any of these stuff requires to be updated, you need to click on update. Now, I don't have anything. So let's go through and change the screen a little bit. I know it's a beautiful screen that they give us, but it has some ads in it. So if I have to press home, you can see these ads in the bottom. Let's see if we can change that to something different. That's not the only thing. If I have to right click, nothing will happen. If I have to press OK for a few seconds, nothing happens. So these are little things that we wish that we can change. So something like right here, I don't have a camera, but we have these icons. We want to bring it out would be a really good thing. There you go. So you just have to hold it for a few seconds and then you can change it. So that's one. Number two is when you go back into tabs, you can see my tab is open. Let's go back into it. So let's get Nova Launcher. There you go. And we will select it and click on install. And that's part is just getting installed. We will go back and we will look for there was one that is called the and you can see which is not good. This is the one that's best. All right. So let's get this installed you have to say skip because i'm not going to put my credit card for this but this is how easy it is to install it and then let's go through and take advantage of it so a few things i have to mention is if you have an epk you do not have to move it any other way there is a little file right over here that you can take it and then install your app directly to it and awesome it just goes through and it will get installed and there you go it just crashed because the google play store just got an update don't worry nothing will be corrupted and you can go through it and there you go now i have nova launcher so let's select it and say always this is the first boot to go into nova launcher there you go it says refresh or backup or browse we're just going to leave it on start fresh click on next it will ask you if you want it to be dark mode or auto we just going to say use location say allow and we're going to put it on dark mode and click next. In this part, it says to swipe or icon, dock icon like this. We're going to leave it on dock icon so we can see more apps inside. And you can click apply. Wow, that's huge. That is very, very big. Now, let's go through and change some settings. So first thing first, I do not have that button that we were talking about. So if I have to press home, there you go. And let's just say once. I do not want it to be always all of a sudden. I just changed. There you go. So we can go through into settings. And over here, you can change certain things. Something like home screen and icons. You can see that the layout is 125. Let's just bring that down. Make it the icon should be a little bit bigger. There you go. And then the cursor should be a little bit smaller. Now let's just bring down the shadows there, the color. All right, let's just leave that. Let's go back. And then this part says six by six. Let's just change that to seven or eight. There you go. And eight. So that way it's a lot going to be added. And then the paddle. No, just leave it as is. And then the dock. So there's a lot of settings in this, which your free version will give you. You do not need to have extra ones. We'll go back and that should be a, it. That's about it. So let's get out of it. And now it's a lot better. So this we do not need. We can remove. Same thing with this part. We do not need remove. And let's just click on it for a couple of seconds. Go to wallpaper and go to live wallpaper. And here's my wallpaper. Select it. Let it load beautiful and click set 
and now we can put this on home screen we do not have any kind of settings right now we will leave this in the bottom and this is how it really looks now so this is my blue stack right now running with a live wallpaper and yes you can scare them for some of them to go back and forth and know the tree oh yeah you can play with the tree too now that's really good so this is something really cool that you can play but these animals on the bottom you cannot play with them and that's how easy it is to set up and once the time changes your background will change to night mode or this is like early morning this looks beautiful right now so this is how easy it is to play and also install your apps now one thing is all the apps are right here that you can select and you can play with so and that's why I installed more apps for us to play with and yes I'm going to play with it that's why I have installed this something like this app this is beautiful called explore you can not only go to get access to your internal storage or yeah, is your regular SD that you're going to connect even on your Android TV boxes but you can also go through your LAN so you can browse whatever's inside of your network or you can go to FTP yes even web storage doesn't matter if you're connected via one of these you will be able to access your account easily so you can move your files back and forth from the box to your web storage or bring it back so it's very nice and convenient to have something like this and right now I'm just gonna say always so we can go back to it but if you want to see what's running in the background just click on this and then you can close down all of your settings so you do not have it running in the background and this is how easy it is to install something like BlueStack on your Windows 10 PC. If you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP, except that this was our take. Yes, we will do some more customization, like moving these back and forth if we it, the app allows us, except that this is how it is set up. I hope you guys like it. And make sure that you press a little thumbs up in the bottom, except that. Thank you.